Okay, storage. Uh, basically, no use in having information and then just instantly forgetting it. You gotta be, uh, basically, you gotta hold it long enough for it to do something useful with it. So, basically, storage, holding data in memory long enough to do something. So, a number of different ways. Once we're going to talk about it's a flip flop. Flip flop is bi stable. Oh, well, there's tri stable ones, but we're just going to talk about bi stable because we're in binary digits. It's two stable states. Now, think of them as buckets of water. And one bucket's full, or a bucket's empty. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what they are. Next time you go to a computer store, just tell them, I'm looking for really tiny buckets of water. And that one's empty. And that one's full. Okay? They're not really buckets. But again, just think about that. This one that's empty has got a zero in it. This one that's high, oh, that's full, it's got a one. So either a low or a high. So now, B registers combos. An 8 bit register. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 buckets of water, some of which are filled, some of which are empty. So we get as 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay? So different types of uh, registers. Basically, there's a serial where it's entered, exited, single file. Your uh, book calls it like a bus. You're getting on the bus. So basically, let's start, you know, like moving from left to right. And this is the enter right here. So basically, this combo, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero. Is it going to actually enter with this one first? So it'll be zero. Then it's going to push over with one. Push over one zero. Zero one one zero. Zero zero one one zero. Hold it beside it. One zero zero one one zero. Zero one zero zero one one zero. So the whole thing is stored zero one. I mean, one zero one zero zero one one zero. Okay, so basically, that's a shift register. Excuse me. Well, it is, it is a shift register. Um, serial shift register. Basically, it's entering and exit, exiting one after another. Okay, which should have done four bit register. All that is here. Okay, parallel. The enter. Exit. All at the same time. Think of this also like a bus, but it's like a bus whose outside got ripped off by King Kong or a radioactive dinosaur. Basically, all one zero, one zero zero, one one zero, they all simultaneously go in to our little buckets. Filled, that one is filled, and those two get filled. Okay, get it? Zero and parallel registers. Okay, let's see, let's talk about C semiconductor memories. Of which there are two types, ROM and RAM. We'll get into this a little bit more in some later chapters. Read only. Relatively permanent. Ram, random access memory, easily, easily written. To. Magnetic, last one, magnetic, optical. Okay, 
basically all this mass storage. Back up. Okay, we are at the end of storage, but now we've got to go to the last one on logic functions, and that is counters. Okay, computer is basically uh, computer's best feature. They can sit there and count all day. Um, they specialize in repetitive tasks and iterations, basically. Do this 50 times, do this 100 times. Um, and basically, a counter, if you can think about it, it's got to remember where it was in order to count. So, Keyword is remember. So, what do you use for memory? Flip flops, registers, basically data storage. I used to be in like one, two, potato. Oh, damn, I forgot where I am. So, it's got to remember where it is, okay? Okay, let's, uh, let's go, let's, uh, we're going to stop this lecture here and then we're going to go over the system applications, basically, uh, walking through uh, what's on page 17 and 18. Book does a super good job on this too, so um, there is a mistake in there too. Well, not a mistake, but something that make it a little bit easier. So we'll go over that in the next lecture. All right.